Uh, what's up, everybody? Friendly neighborhood Danny Boy is here to tell you a little story. Uh, our uh, DB Chronicles of uh, my little adventure, the uh, Guild Bleach, turned out so well and was uh, seemed to be so well received that uh, whoa! Figured we might as well as not only do a little uh, standalone thing here. But uh, also, let's do a little bit of the uh, IRL adventures in real life, for those that don't know. Wow, we got a lot of action going on out here. So I wanted to share a story with you about uh, my... Whoa! Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if that was a server or me. But we most certainly are. Uh, look at this guy. So, I gave you a little preview in the old XCOM, and we're going to continue it here. This guy's about to tear me up. That guy just fell right off the cliff. Oh, that was good. So I gave you a preview of that voice, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull back here, because uh, I get so insanely involved in this that I easily lose my train of thought. and get right into that old bloodlust mode as you can see here alright so we're gonna fall back we're gonna play extraordinarily defensive and by that I mean we're just gonna run around the main base here maybe peeking out see if we can't steal some easy kills so I I don't have a lot of friends uh, there's a more elegant way of saying that uh, I know a lot of people but uh, that doesn't mean that they're friends, and just because I hang out with them doesn't mean that uh, I like them. You know, sometimes you have friends of friends, and when you have friends of friends and everybody likes to party together, sometimes you have those situations where you run into somebody who you don't necessarily, uh, you wouldn't necessarily hang out with under any other circumstance at all, ever, period. <laughs> And uh, this person we're going to talk about tonight is one of those people. Uh, so I'm out at the bar, hanging out with a couple buddies, and uh, she comes in. And I already wasn't a fan of this person because uh, she said some fairly offensive things to a friend of mine. Um, and I just, I'm going to wind up probably, I doubt I'll ever get around to uh, putting that one up. I just, just not happening. But just know that, uh, you know, there's a little bit of a reason why I dislike this person enough to want to share her with the world. So chilling out at the bar she comes in we're partying I honestly could care less it's like hey what are you guys up to I got a surprise for you how about me and all of you going to the strip club right now and you know we're always down for an adventure so what the hell do we care we're like hell yeah she's like I know somebody and what they're gonna do is they're gonna get us in there for free because you're going to be hanging out with me. And that's basically just the way I roll. So we're like, hey, all right, man. You know, maybe this chick's got something going on. A little VIP action. Here's somebody in this town, you know. I mean, whatever. You get amped up. I had a couple drinks. So uh, she comes spy, pulling up. And we all pile into her car. Very nice car. And uh, <laughs> I saw this spy. Let me take care of him real quick. Oh, the old demo's got him. So, we get in the car, we kind of have to pack in there like a little clown car. We're all, you know, just bunched in like sardines. But it doesn't matter because we're going to the strip club. And so, she's like, first we have to make a pit stop over at my place. Got some stuff to take care of. So, we go over there to her house, and she runs in real quick, and she takes about a half an hour. And it turns out she needs to change 
and apparently for her to go to the strip club, she needs to dress like uh, she is going to work at the strip club. So, <laughs> okay, great, wonderful. Oh! Suck my balls! Just had to throw it out there. And, um... She comes back to the car. Takes a half hour to basically put on, like, two ounces of clothes. I hate that this medics... Oh, <laughs> I hate that he's following me. I don't want a dedicated healer. Alright, good. Learn your lesson. Go away. So... Ooh. We then make the trip out there, driving around. She's, I don't know, she's talking about herself. I do this, and I do that. And all the time I'm doing these things, and I just do stuff. And, you know, I like, I work hard, but I party hard. And that's the way life's supposed to be. You're supposed to, like, you're supposed to party harder than you work, because, you know, you need rewards. What better way to reward yourself than by partying super hard? And... Honestly, I have no idea what she does. Fuck me. Reload! Fuck me! Fuck me! Bang! As you see, how easily distracted I get. So. We're excited, it's cool, we're gonna have a good time heading down to the strip club. And we get there, and as we're walking up, you know, we're this little mob, this little mob of like, you know, super gangsters. We're awesome, you know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how many of you have actually been to the strip club, but it's not, uh, not actually that great of a scene. I hope I'm not, uh, exposing the race of man by letting you know that dudes, I don't know, I mean, there are some dudes that are really into it. I'm not one of those dudes. But uh, we're walking up there, and she goes, hold on a second, I need to hand these out. And she has coupons for the strip club. Free admission. That's her That's her hookup. That's that's how, you know, we're not paying for anything. We're just going right in, because we have coupons. Because I'm a coupon clipper. And when it's time for deals, I get them. So, <laughs> instantly, I'm like, some people are like, hey, cool, man, awesome, you know, you, you know, coupon to get it for free. I'm, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a dick. You guys know that I'm a dick. So, I'm like, some strip club, they can make coupons, that's fine, let them. But who's the dude actually getting them, collecting them? Not only collecting them, has like, has like, seven? I mean, there was like, ten of us. So, she's handing out our coupons to the strip club, our hookups, our awesome party. And uh, I take my coupon, and I stand in line, and I feel much more like a pervert, lecherous, and deprived. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm so desperate to get into the strip club that I collect the coupons, because I gotta be there. So, fine, we get there. Turns out we're a couple coupons short. And uh, we find out that the, uh, the valet, or whatever you call it, the person that sits there checking people in, She's like, oh, all you gotta do is tag yourself on Facebook and and you can come in for free. So this ultra exclusive club with coupons uh, is basically saying just acknowledge our existence and we'll let you in. The door's open. Just come on in. We won't charge you anything. Just please, just be here. I think I'm lagging out again here. This is ugh, it's kind of pissing me off. So okay, fine. You know, she let me down. Not the first or the last, right? So, <laughs> we get into the strip club. And, first off, I've been to many strip clubs. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm not saying with pride. I'm simply saying it uh, as a matter of fact. Um, and, and I mean, I've been to them like all around this, the country. I've traveled a little bit. <laughs> So, you know, you hang out with people, you go and you check them out. This was one single stage with up to two strippers per stage. Not a, you know, okay, not a big deal. Uh, she comes up, you know, she's like, look at these bodies, look at these beautiful women. Go ahead, boys, soak it up, enjoy. And I'm just like, 
Ugh. Ugh. Like, I'm almost feeling nauseous. And, uh, so, where, dude, did Red leave? So, <laughs> we sit down, and, and this is what kills me. This is like, you know, hard bodies, look at these great goddesses. This strip club, it's fully nude, optional, okay? Like, you never give the stripper the option of anything other than being naked, and maybe her choice if she wants to be addicted to coke or meth. That's up to her. That's it. Not the option to be full nude. Because you know what the option is when you're full nude? The option is, I'm not taking that option. I'm taking a, I'll show my boobs. And I'm going to wear a burqa on the bottom half of my body. Because you're not seeing my J. My J. So now I'm like, I'm almost disappointed. Because, I mean, if you're going to go to a, you know, a place, a den of ill repute <laughs> as this, it might as well as be a complete house of debauchery and, you know grotesque things of that nature. So, I'm sitting there and I'm watching these wonderfully talented women uh, take off their tops uh, and stand there. And, uh, you know, I, hey, I wanted to work hard for my singles. Uh, just by taking, just by keeping the, the, the bottoms on, like, that's already cutting it in half. You gotta work twice as hard to get that single. And if you've never been in a strip club, basically how it works, uh, at least in the most of the ones I go to, uh, all the dudes, you know, you break like a 20, you get 20 singles, and uh, you just, whoa, you just wait. Uh, oh, what a dick. You wait for a stripper that you like, she comes down by you, you know, you put your single, you put your single on the table, and she, you know, sachets over, and uh, if it's a full nude, she basically just, she, she spreads them, she gives you a little uh, exam. And, uh, and she earns that dollar, and, uh, and that's that, <laughs> you know. But uh, it doesn't quite work <laughs> in this scenario, because it's like, okay, like, I, I'm just, you know, hey, I'm a, I work hard for my dollars. You know, you really got to earn them. Oh, oh, we're, oh. So, I'm already a little disappointed. I'm drinking the drinks are watered down, of course. Uh, just, I mean, I'm... You know, I'm having fun with my friends, my, you know, real friends who I'm there with. They're they're always a great time, you know. There's a couple chicks there, and it's always fun to take a chick to a strip club, because they're just, it's just so funny. It's funny in, like, a hot way. You know, it's like, hee hee, look at you guys, you're so close that she's grinding on you, and you should kiss her, it'll be funny. <sighs> yeah, just kiss her, yeah, like that. Just rub her hair, oh. Or, uh, wait, I'm sorry, where am I? So, <laughs> I, uh, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, you know what, this is burning me out. And she, she's gone, the chick. I'm not going to name her name, because I'm just not going to do it. And uh, so I turn around, and there's, there's a VIP section. And uh, I see two of my friends are in there. And, uh, and I'm like, well, I, I don't care. I just walk in there. Uh, generally, people stop you. There's bouncers. They say, you know, you be up, you know, and they try to be hard asses and, you know, just bullshit like that. Get all these dildo heads. Shut your face! Let's get rid of this guy. So, I'm trying to tell a story here. This guy just ended up playing games. So, <laughs> I go in there. Nobody says anything to me. I sit down, and two minutes later, she comes in. She's like, hey. Welcome to the VIP, that's what it's like when you roll with me. Only the best for me. And I'm like, yeah, you know, only the best for you. And I'm, you know, hey, thanks so much, you know, you're such an awesome person. I just I just kissed the shit out of her ass, you know, like, wow, this is unreal, like, I can't believe it. Like, these chicks are half naked, upper half, and it's crazy. I've never seen something like that before. I mean, I read about it in, in National Explorer, or whatever it's called, you know. But, uh, National Geographic, that's what I was going for. Oh, shit! What am I stuck on? All right. So, <laughs> she's like, take a look around. This is a millionaire's club. And, uh, I take a look around, and I see myself, who <laughs> is nowhere near <laughs> a millionaire. And... I see my friends, wonderful people, they're not millionaires. 
And then I see the other people who are here, the, the quote-unquote millionaires, and they basically look like they just got done with their late shift at the bowling alley. And that's cool if you Ooh, work at the bowling them. alley, if that's what some of you people do for your careers. I'm not going to hate on you for that. But these guys, you know, work at the bowling alley, so they have access to the bowling shoes, which they get to sniff and possibly rub on their genitals uh, when it's closing time. You know it. I know it. That's who they are. That's these millionaires, the Millionaires Club. They appreciate women. They appreciate feet. They love it all. Uh, I am <laughs> I'm starting to, like, laugh my ass off. And uh, I, I'm telling my friends what's happening because, you know, it's a loud club, and, and they're, like, just flabbergasted. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Someone said shot. She's... She then has to tell us, like, her stories... Like, I'm going to be going to a Bulls game, and I'm going to be sitting with the director of the Lovables. Like, who gives a fuck anyways? You have a big set of tits, you can dance for the Bulls. You know, like, great. You know, she's tan as fuck. Like, now I'm just starting to hate on her. So, and then she's like, I gotta go to the bathroom for a while. Come on, give me that rocket! Great. So, <laughs> she has to tell us how frigging wonderful she is, because obviously she's that wonderful. It turns out she goes to the bathroom, she leaves for like, she's gone. Like, we don't have her anymore. Like, I don't know if she was getting ready to get on the stage, but uh, <laughs> suddenly we're like in the middle of nowhere, and our ride, our awesome ride with the coupons and the VIP with the perverts is gone. And uh, we wind up having to call a buddy who lives in the area to come by, and he's like pissed. And... Uh, <laughs> Like, within an hour after that, uh, she adds me on Facebook. Everybody who was at the strip club winds up getting an ad from her on Facebook, and I get to watch her Facebook statuses. Like, I'm eating a sandwich. I'm hungry! Exclamation points. Uh, took my friends out, had them, showed them a good time. Show everybody a good time. I'm all about a good time. Good times all around. That's what it's like when you hang with me. Like, and I'm sure you guys, I mean, you know, you've seen these posts, you've seen the Jersey Shore, you know, you've seen real world and shit, I mean, it's just, it, it's, it does shock me, people like that exist, and, uh, I'll never, <laughs> I was so disappointed, and just the way, I guess, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, I, I guess I should try and give a moral to this story, which there really isn't one, uh, people suck, and then they disappoint you. Let's see if we can make it. Oh. And yeah, like that... That was my my glorious evening. <laughs> I, I hope you enjoyed the story. I'm actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go back and, uh... See if this is suitable. Because, you know, towards the end there, you see what happens. I get into it. But, uh, I swear, this person is a, is a real person. I'm obsessed. I'm real. I'm here, you're queer, get used to it, um, you know, some people are doers, some people are just me, <laughs> like, what, you know, just some, some stupid saying, like, that's just how she rolls, there's them, and there's me, and I'm me, so, Bonjour, wee oui, wee, oui. terrible. Uh, by all means, leave your feedback. Uh, anything you gotta say, any stories you gotta relate in this situation, uh, by all means, share. More than welcome. Uh, yeah, that's that. Oh, wow, really?